Guys, before we dive into the video, I wanted to say thank you so much for your support. We wouldn't be able to do what we do without the support from you guys. Underdog Racing, we got our Let's Make Some Power. We got the classic Faster Proms. We got hats, lanyards, stickers. We got Want to Do a Burnout shirt. Also, some Faster Proms hoodies. We so appreciate your support, guys. So now, let's get back to the video. Now, from the startup, we have a tremendous amount of work in order to get this car drivable. Straight after the dyno. We want to go take this thing out and rip it. I almost thought that you weren't going to be able to drive it, but it looks like you're going to be able to. You're doing the wheelies without yeah. the on the back. Yeah. It's going to be a whole different violence to the wheelies now. So the good thing is that we have done wheelies with this before, but they were just... Good experience. Yeah. Professional, maybe. No. Virtually. Virtually. Semi-pro. I'm going to say we're semi-pro wheeliers. Wheelies on. and burnouts. Yeah. We're just a helmet will fit. Oh, no dude. Problem. That handbrake. The little handbrake thing that you and I did where you came into the side and we're like, yeah. oh, we got to get that going again. So you are thinking of a scoop then? So flat roof. Yep. Flat roof. And then we got yeah, roughly about down. a three inch. Yes. Yeah. So, I mean, okay. we can make this and start to get this all shaped up out of uh, some cardboard. We'll have, we should have one, two, three, and then the top would be carbon. So it's got boxed it in on the side? Yes, okay. yeah. And but a funnel, because again, sure. we'd kind of had, you know, if you think about it, if we're just scooping from here, for one, that's going to look a little funny. If we open this up to traverse the whole car, we're now potentially getting in maybe 15 or 20% more airflow that we're funneling in. So uh, we want this thing to be able to perform at speed and really have a super, super efficient intercooler. And Laz knows we do all this type of crap with uh, CTSVs and plenty of times. any anything we you know any little low-hanging fruit something that we can optimize and make it more efficient we're doing it to you guys that don't know the boosted boys it's not just another soccer mom crazy man Sean is in the house we're out of sea cater time all right, so meanwhile, I'm working on the dyno tune, kind of get my butt kicked a little bit, and you... We're not showing this. You don't want to show that? All right, so what about this? What about that? Not yet. Oh, I mean, not that? We got to tie this up, and then this needs to be rerouted. Nice, what the hell is that? We're going with its uh, shorter materials. Yeah, that's what we're going to say. That works. So we did just get our K-tuned alternator bracket. This is a whole get up right here. Like that. Yeah, that yep. looks pretty good. Excuse my wiring. Oh, you're good. Oh, hey, how about that battery hold down? Yeah. Do you want a big zip tie, dude? Honestly, that would probably hold it down better than nothing. Yeah, I would think so. I would think so. So the, where your alternator is right there, yeah, if we're looking yeah, right there. Yeah, far down, it tucks it. Yeah, if we had a flat plane like that, so let's see about that. The pulley on, it's like right here. Yeah, it's like right. directly beneath the water. Oh, I don't know, man. But that's what they designed it to fit in these yeah. parts, so it should fit. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be really, really close. It's probably very close, but it should go. But in the meantime, we're very, very, very close on this thing. And Laz is finishing up all the brake stuff. So that's what all this ugliness was right there. So if you look up, what I had to do is get the pedals in the right orientation. I see. I'm actually going to bring this one home tonight. And I have a, a bender. And mm -hmm. I'll just throw a bend in that. So, But it clears it clears the uh, frame rail. Which gotcha, is, so we're gonna kinda go like a little bit yeah, of Yeah, exactly. Yeah, cause right now it's way out there, but I'll get it proportionate to that. Um, and the yeah. brake, as you can see here, we had to have it line up with the booster um, actuator rod. Now what we're doing is I cut these 316 plates mm -hmm. and cope them. And that's gonna go like that. But now we have to figure out, you know, how much, I mean, that one feels good, but you know, there's a little that bit of a little... movement there, so we gotta, like Laz just said, we what, have to bleed it. I have to open the valve and let the hydraulic pressure out. Yeah. See so how much throw it has. Yeah. But what we can do here, I made these extra long. Mm -hmm. So what we can do is if we have to drill a few holes and That's where it's like changing your leverage yeah, effectively. Yeah, and we'll just cut them, cut them afterwards. And your throw, for that matter. And the only thing we haven't really addressed, I was messing around with it this morning, is this throttle cable gets really tight right here. Yeah, we talked about that this morning. Yeah, so I know Laz grabbed some extra springs. I don't know if that's gonna help us or not. Or and if we, and can... if we look up there, hold on. So we we are going through the cab at the moment. This tight radius 
from like here to here. Mm. So we'll kind of have to figure that out. But these are all on needle bearings. Those look like frictionless so, is what they look like. Yeah, they're gonna be It's a nice. solution, that's pretty yeah. cool. Well done, sir. All right, guys, well, it is getting late once again, as you can see, and uh, we are, we're gonna have to cut it out for the night here. Got a lot of stuff done, and Laz, you're still chipping away on the brakes. We still got customer cars too. So. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Definitely got tied up doing customer car stuff. Yeah. Power steering. Power steering delete kit. Delete kit. Didn't know it was an all-day to relocate kit. We did get that sweet billet pulley on our alternator, but now our alternator case is hitting the cradle, so we're gonna have to uh, fix it. We'll make it happen. Trying to get that last little bit of that guy out of there. Got her out of there, look at that. sharp edges sticking up all right we got it somewhat tightened up now and we have clearance we're good to go more than enough yeah that's all you need is a piece of paper right yep we're down to the throttle bracket and uh as you guys saw a little earlier ben really came through and had a home run with the pedal so we got our solution figured out how to keep them where they need to be should be able to have well really all the articulation that they need yeah. And uh, the only thing that we're working on now is the binding of the throttle cable. And uh, we should be able to work on a solution now. So we are really, really close to solving that, but uh, we got to bleed the coolant. You guys got the brakes all figured out. I'm just gonna bleed them. Yeah, we need to bleed we them. got rid of Big Ugly. Yeah, yeah, you did. Yeah, you did. These are just tacked in place. And notice sure. they're pretty straight, man. There's a little slack there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I kind of took that out, but we need to make sure the throw is good and everything. Yeah. Um, because we don't have too much room going that way. So that just seems like play, but we'll make, you know. We'll yeah, make we sure can figure that out. But, Gotta see how the clutch engages, how much, you yeah. know, we need and all that. So you had to move over the reservoir or no? So this booster here is odd. It's like slotted. So I was able to actually take it and kind of rotate it. Okay. So yeah, so these kind of stayed and this guy moved. Yeah. Well, you know, it's weird. There's only two mounting tabs on it. So this whole thing was just like articulating almost. Really? I mean, yeah, it was pretty, pretty bogus. So what I did is I just welded in just quickly, just a little spacer here. Custom brake lines, obviously, and teen everything off. And we've got our ball valve up in there. So what we'll be able to do is we'll, we'll be able to turn off our rear brakes and be able to do burnouts. So I, I really like that idea. I just got to be able to remember to turn it back on. Yeah. So we took what's coming off the valve cover, and then we took off the other PCV port, just ran it, ran it down kind of nice and clean. We want to be able to see if this thing is blowing out a significant amount of oil. Pretty much just like a really quick health check to make sure it doesn't have a terrible amount of blow by, and if and when it does, we should know it pretty quickly. We're gonna go through our Motion Raceworks checklist before we do anything crazy here, and just try and ensure that everything is gonna be good and safe. So what I did was I tacked it on yeah. at full throttle, and backed it off a little bit. <coughs> so that's full throttle. The problem is, look where this pedal is. It's, oh, a, it's, quite it's a, a wicked long throw. And we can't have this hang down too Why low. Why can't we go up higher? Does that make it worse? That should make it better. There are multiple different bolt holes so that we can adjust the throw. Sorry. Yeah, now check this out. What if we were to put this guy... Over this way? Right, that's exactly what I was gonna say. Is like, we can still be, put more holes in it. That would be that's too much. This one's <laughs> this one's just right. <laughs> you know, I've noticed we have equal corniness. I know. <laughs> That's really weird. We grew up in the same time frame. Probably had equally weird parents. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we have this point of adjustment as well, a little bit though. I mean, this is just holding, but yeah, that's could... just tech screwed in <laughs> just to get us in the neighborhood. Right, but at the same time, if we if we pull this this way we can get that back that way you yeah. see what i'm saying so it's like if we move this to closed. that bolt right there we should be able to move that however that is going to put us deeper throw into into there so yeah i can just go up and notch this too that's not a big deal oh i wanted to show you guys this real quick here this is pretty clever so we cut out these tabs right here so that we can mount the brake line there and ben welded those guys in we'll have to come back and paint that it's a pretty sweet little tab just to keep everything up and out of the way and nice and safe. Another problem solved. Love it. Brakes are bled and ready to roll. So we're running for our blow off valve or 
just cut that line right there and we're gonna run our brake booster line, which is a hard line down there somewhere into that fella. So while I was working on that, I'm gonna trim my zip ties right here. Woo, those look good. So we're we pulling a harness. Was this thing for like the uh, cabriolet? Yeah. So guys, we got 20 pounds of crap out of this harness. This is all the smart car harness. All right, after a ton more work, We've got the smart car all ready to go. Now guys, Ben, that's been helping us out a whole bunch, Bayside Fabrication, this is his baby. We just we just weighed this thing, and it turns out that it's about just shy of 2,500 pounds. Yeah. And we just pulled this thing off the diner. You have to check this out on Brent's channel. But man, this thing ought to be a ripper. Yeah, it's gonna be fun. And uh, once we took you for a, you know, a ride drifting, I was like, well, I'm not saying turn it into a drift car, just, you know. It, Sure, it's capable of going sideways. Yes, for sure. <laughs> so he built this thing as a hill climb car and it's pretty awesome. So this is a 2003 M3 engine and we just made some very decent power with it. This thing ought to rip. I would have no problem. As soon as we move this marker out of the way and weigh it, dude, go tear it up, man. <laughs> very exciting. Very yeah. cool. Very cool setup, man. We haven't even shown you all this yet. We got our, we got a bunch of switches here. So. We wired up our rolling anti-lag, which is gonna be just absolutely sickness right there. So no waiting for spool. It's just <laughs> the leaves, man. And we got our low boost, high boost. So we're gonna have our, once we get everything squared away and well, I feel comfortable with the low boost, we'll just, and we're gonna tune low and high. So I can't wait for that. We got our mag valve wired up. You guys did that last night, so we can do it all, man should have all the goodies that you could ever possibly want or ask for out of uh, some late model tech. Other than other than the four port gate, but I mean, dude, we don't need all that. We're good. Once, once we got a little motor. Yeah, no, let's do it, man. All twos. All twos. Really? That's awesome. Sorry, that's awesome. That's, <laughs> that's lighter than I thought. That's great, dude. Now you're getting out. And we should see yeah, yeah. So let's check this. All right. So I'm gonna try the little. Right, uh, I'm hitting the brakes and then we're locking it. So let's check that out. Two thousand. Oh, pounds. dang. Ooh. That's pretty that's freaking good. light, man. That's, that's awesome. Dude. It's gonna be 2038, 2039. Hell yeah. That's awesome. I'm just being used is 1.17. So I did the math, and it's like, we added like 130 pounds of voltage. Okay, now bear in mind, check this out real quick here. It's supposed to be 1950 bone stock. So net gain, we're at like 90 pounds. Net gain, we're at 90 pounds. So with 130 pounds of cage, now we stripped everything out of it. We're probably gonna put some stuff back in it, but dude, that's, uh, that's not bad. I'm stoked with that. That's really good. I always wanted a 2,000 pound car, that's sick. 60, 40. <laughs>
Oh my gosh, I am so excited to finally do this. This is the culmination of this whole build. Smart car is on the dyno here. And we got the man at the helm for the job. Dude, yesterday, this guy just freaking blew my mind with Kyle's car. <laughs> Unbelievable, man. Oh my gosh, that was fun. I, uh, I, a lot of stuff of everything that I knew has now been totally put on its head. So this guy has changed my mind about everything with homeboy's car there yesterday. So amazing. We sure had a good time. Yep. <laughs> I just stuffed that in there. <laughs> So we've made a bit of improvements since uh, last video there. All right, we got this, uh, we got all these on there. We've got our low boost, high boost switch. Whoop, hold on. That's not what this is. It? And you can see the indicator. So that's low boost, low boost, high boost. I'll just rename it. And then two step. So yeah, we got our two step, which is our, also gonna be our, our rolling anti-lag. So we'll be able to build boost while sitting there holding wide open throttle and let her rip and it'll be at full boost. That is going to be so awesome. That really makes up the biggest differences of a small engine with a larger turbo. So no turbo lag anymore. Not even a problem whatsoever. I can reach my arms from there to there and that is the whole car. I mean, it is so freaking tiny. All right, so I'm going to set up the dyno stuff and let's get rolling. All right, first of all, we're going to do third gear. Come on, buddy. Come on. You got this, buddy. Made 275 274 yes. and it was leaning out so that was just like a roll in right there my boost cut twice. Wow. okay so what is the boost cut though i had 16 pounds wow oh wait yeah so we're gonna check okay I mean, I have to check it we got the weight well, we got the gate wrong got to get our weight skate routing right otherwise we're just gonna make all the boost so all the boost we don't all make all the boost yet but soon so the source is the bottom right here and we have an open port there but we have a plug there so we're going to take that plug out put it in that one and then we're going to put one of these fittings where that one was and then we should be good to go again all right we got our routing all correct right now ready to rip Yeah. And I'm just right at yeah. that Yeah. So we'll probably have to pull the gate back off and figure out what it is. Dude, we should have done that while it was out. I don't know what I was thinking, man. You got all caught up in the moment. You were just going for it, bro. <laughs> so we, uh, we take the gate off and soften the spring or we just let it rip? 16, 16 pounds of 13 degrees of timing. 16 pounds of 13 degrees of timing. So that's like super weak on the timing, but yeah. that's that's more boost than what we really wanted, honestly. Yeah. So we were really looking to do, yeah. eh, you know, what? We were talking between 8 to 12 because we thought that 12 yeah so say for example 12 pounds with let's just say i don't know 22 Six, degrees of timing that's gonna be 480 whoa or maybe 500 whoa yeah i'd feel better with lower boost and more timing and i mean you and i had the conversation yeah, of like so we, then we just need to soften the gate yeah yeah so we have to soften the gate because that is the gate we need to be able that's to have as low, low as it goes that's as low as it goes oh dang yeah so that's what i'm saying is like <laughs> I'm fine with that power, but we need to be able to go beneath that and then just go up from there because this is a super conservative as far as So my limiter right now I had at 7,900 because I didn't know what, where we were going to go and I hit 73 right there. Bro, it it looks good. That's that's a great start. <laughs> Pull two. Dude, you're the man. You're the freaking man. <laughs> the boost does it, bro. I All right, so let's... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. All right, let's figure that out. So we're probably going to need to take the gate back off I'm gonna put in the lightest spring that I can, and I mean Brent just said that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. But we can still be able to tweak from there. But that's just whew, we're hoping that that was not gonna be the case. So what we got going on here is our manifold. We're experiencing boost creep, uh, pretty bad. So as you can see, our manifold here. 
it comes down and it shoots down Mine right out of 90. The gate. And um, oh, yeah, this is it's causing standard practice for boost. Dynamo. Dude, all these guys right here, they're used to this stuff all day long. It's like, oh, we got a, this problem, then you fix that and move on to the next problem. And that's just how it goes, man. It's, you know, life of a tuner is putting one fire out and putting another one. Immediately got another one. We got the spring in there. How them chicken nuggets? Chicken Bro, nuggets hey, fourth on trending live, hey. buddy. Hell yeah, dude. That's all. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Okay. <laughs> Everybody in, in with us. It's great. So, again, still trying to establish some sort of foundation before we go nuts. So, basically, we're just taking compressor to gate. Nothing else, no Mac valve, taking that out of the equation. Yep. Okay. All right, so we've got compressor Source. housing. Yep. So our reference, so he's saying source, I'm used to saying reference. Yeah, it's just a different lingo, but yep, same, thing. same thing. To the bottom of the gate. That's it. Simple as can be. Simple as can be. That's how it's supposed to be. Yep. We got our lightest spring, hopefully got everything under control. Dude, somebody just sent a whole bunch of McDonald's. gosh dude the lightest spring so we definitely have some sort of exhaust problem yeah 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 we got a flow we got a flow problem <laughs> yeah. we're not able to evacuate and we're running the compressor yeah. speed too high so that's it Whew. man we can relocate the gate or a second gate or or just let it rip let it rip <laughs> <laughs> let's keep tuning man let's keep tuning so unfortunately, although this is absolutely gorgeous, we might have to alter that guy right there or make it bigger. I, I don't know yet, so. Number one on trending, I just gotta, oh my gosh, dude. One on trending, guys? Ah! That's what I'm talking about. That's dude, that is sick. sick All dude. right, we're spraying it now if you guys said you guys could do it, right? <laughs> yeah, do get the bottle. what they want. The tuners and broken computers. They break. Use, Use them a lot. Chicks take scars and glories forever. <laughs> <laughs> timing so super super super, super conservative yeah but i mean dude we're making more boost hey so you could treat this thing though like it's a centrifugal yeah, curve though you know yeah. you're gonna have like 22 it's degrees like rolling feeding, down feeding, there. Feeding, feeding. <laughs> what's the plan on this one buddy uh, i'm gonna rev it out to 82. Hey. nice and dude. hopefully i got some stuff just cleaned up Oh my gosh, dude. he only pulled it a couple hundred RPM. 
climb higher though. That's insane, dude. <laughs> Beyond what I'd ever want, dude. Seriously. So that's what we just said. How much power are we exactly shooting for here? That was the question. 450? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I mean, 450 we're, would have been nice. We're, we're, we're hanging out, man. A smart car. Oh we're just hanging gosh. out having a 500 horsepower smart car. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, dude. That's it's gonna wild. be drag radial time like immediately. <laughs> kind of boost. 19.6. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. That's moving it up that 300 RPM. Yeah. Went yeah. from 7,900 to the Revolver at 82, and it went up another three pounds of boost. Oh yeah. So we're probably. Oh, two and a half. We probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> we probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> things are happening really really fast here so we decided to take it off because we're running out of daylight and this is the last day that Brent's here we got to be able to do drivability so we got to take this thing out and drive it on the street check all sorts of different things here smart car that these guys built in a couple weeks dude unreal dude with with limited stuff resources. yeah it might be right at about three and a half weeks or four weeks or so but dude definitely limited resources just as you said for sure it was not easy to make all that happen holy crap we got papa john's coming dude we've had two mcdonald's orders <laughs> Guys, we just hit number one on YouTube trending live. That is so incredibly hum humbling. I never would have ever thought a little old smart car doing something stupid like just dreamed up that out of some harebrained idea would do something like that. So you guys are freaking awesome. Unreal, man. Dude, let's go see if this thing will do some burnouts, man. That's what I'm talking about, and a wheelie. Bump steer. You better bump that throttle and steer it into a donut. You know, when I was younger, it was like two dope boys in a Cadillac. Yep. That's like two old men in a smart car. <laughs> <laughs> We're shoulder to shoulder. Oh my gosh. This Actually, is the first time putting on the harness, nuts. too. Yeah. Stay dude. safe in there. Yeah, man. <laughs> We're gonna try. This is epic. May the Lord protect us. <laughs> dude, this is nuts, brother.
front feels so light, like it's yeah. in the air. I don't know. I couldn't tell it not. <laughs> Feels so light, like it's yeah. in the air. I don't know. I couldn't tell or not. Because when he let out, it felt like they were on the ground. At least. Yeah. I mean, when we were here. out there, it was. Yeah, we, out we got on it much harder out there, but it was just. We yeah. got a little bit of an enrichment issue, maybe in, in a couple areas. But dude, it feels yeah. light, and it that it picks up so much. Like it feels like it picks up a foot. Like it might not be off the ground, but it's like it's tippy as like easy yeah. tippy. Like you just go whoa, and it comes up like you see the whole plane go up. Like it's. How's it feel touching your passenger in the shoulder? <laughs> so, there's too much else going on. Yeah, I, I didn't even think about it. I was just like, get it, Jeremy, get Dude, it. It is. Everything is so tight. It looks really good, too. No, it's... It looks proper. I am blown away, dude. Seriously. This is amazing. Dude. So like you said, we got a couple of enrichment spots we got yeah. to clean up, and then... Everybody needs one of these. <laughs> Everybody needs one of these. <laughs> you would actually... You, this Actually, yeah. Yeah. I, I can only have words. It's yeah. just sick. It is sick. Yeah, I mean, let's just let's cool. keep going. We got we got a little bit of daylight. Let's fix that a uh, couple things and like yeah, we uh we haven't been able to get through like a full everything yet, but it's just like feeling it out and it's uh it's gonna be a monster and a half. Monster, like, yeah. This it's is be a so fun fast. car, dude. Yeah, fun, fun car. Really fast. It feels awesome. Right. It really does. Really I'm just like blown away, it. dude. Suspension feel good and everything. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. stiff. Or, yeah, dude. It, it looks it, like it's. It felt awesome. The um, I mean front you know feels like i gotta steer it like like that but it ain't no big deal at all yeah, it's not nothing you can't manage no yeah let's uh let's, let's we got a couple it. things to do let's take care let's of it man it. all right buddy <laughs> this thing's pretty wild let's quick rip we're burning daylight yeah man let's do it well right about here we had a major mic problem uh i can go ahead and make the noises for you guys if you like vroom, vroom. or uh, sorry that was v8 yeah, and there was really weird sensation. I've never broken axle. Really kind of steering hard to the right, so it was a little weird. Anyway, hop out, check it out, and then we see it. Oh, broken axle. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, dang. <laughs> Yes. Hey, broken axle! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one did look wonky though from the get-go. I, you know, when you pulled it in and parked it, you hear it like kung kung kung. I didn't know what that was. Oh, me neither. Guys, this has been an amazing adventure, and uh, I don't even know what to say. I mean, I'm just blown away at the support that you guys have given us, and this has been just some of the most fun I've ever had in my life, and it's been a true joy working with Brent. Uh, I take the smart car home, and there is definitely an adventure involved with that, and I get a lot more significant drive time with it. There's definitely a little bit of pitfalls of some stuff that has happened, so stay tuned for that. That is going to be a blast. That'll be coming at you next. Guys, thank you so much for your support in this whole endeavor. This has been absolutely amazing. If you got a buddy that's interested in something like this, or you think this has been fun and entertaining, please like, share, subscribe. And so now we've come to the point where I'm gonna recommend a song to you. So I was up in Pennsylvania doing some dyno tuning. I jumped in a customer's car to go do the final test drive and the song came on and instantly I was like, this is awesome. And apparently a lot of you guys have noticed that this gentleman, or I look just like this gentleman, his name is Neil Fallon. He's the lead singer of Clutch. Check out A Quick Death in Texas by Clutch. God bless you guys. See you next episode.